Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Irish Dance Workshop with KC Irish Fest. We are at the Driscoll School of Irish Dance today, and we are going to be learning a couple of beginner Irish dances today. So if you want to put on your tennis shoes or any dance shoes you might have and grab a bottle of water, we're going to need all of those things. So first, let's start with the warm up. Let's start jogging on the spot. Let's get all of the blood flowing so we're ready to dance. All right, kick your bum. Thank you. 
everyone. So this is a beginning Irish dance class. Go ahead and get a drink before we get started. We are going to start learning an Irish reel. So an Irish reel is going to sound like this. It's actually what we were just warming up to. And I'm going to help you count it in just a minute before we start learning a dance that goes along with it. It's gonna sound like this. And what you do is you count seven counts and then you count three, and that's how you know this is an Irish reel. So why don't you clap with me? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, one, two, three. That's a reel. So we're gonna start learning our sevens and threes as they pertain to Irish dancers with our feet. So grab a quick drink if you need it. And we're gonna start our Irish dance class with our sevens and threes. This is one of the most basic movements of all Irish dance um, school. Before we start, let's start with a couple of drills. Irish dance is always danced in a turned out position. So feet are going to opposite walls and a crossed over position. So what you're doing is you're connecting your front heel to your back toe. And that's how you do an Irish dance turnout. So let's try just from there. Give me straight feet first, just to start getting into it. Turn them out. Now cross over, connecting your heel to your toe. The first thing we're going to learn is a cut. So you're going to point your front toe. And now what you're going to do is you're going to take that front toe and you're going to point it to your hip. That's called a low cut. So let's go point, low cut, point, low cut, point, low cut, point, low cut. Point, low cut. And let's switch feet. Connect your heel to the toe. Good. Now point your toe. Low cut. Point. 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 Low cut. Very nice. That was called a low cut. Now we're going to learn what is known as a high cut. So let's start with our feet turned out. One foot in front. Point your toe. And now we're going to do what's called a high cut. So what you're going to do is you're going to raise your foot and point your toe to your knee. So your knee right here should be right by your belly button. And your toe should be by your knee pointing straight to the ground. So this one your knee is high with a high cut. Low cut your knee is low. Let's try that a couple times. 
point, high cut, point, high cut, point, high cut, point, high cut, and switch feet. Point, high cut, point, high cut, point, high cut, point, high cut. Point, I cut, point, I cut, point, I cut. Very nice. Let's try a couple of those. We're going to combine them now. One foot in front of the other, connecting your heel to your toe. Point, low cut, point, I cut, point, low cut. Point, high cut, point, low cut, point, high cut. Now let's switch our feet. So let's start over. Feet are straight. Let's slowly get into our turnout position. Turn out your feet, heels together, toes apart. Now connect your front heel with your back toe to make that nice Irish dance turnout. Point your toe, point, low cut. Point, high cut, point, low cut, point, high cut, point, low cut, point, high cut. cut. Very nice. That was one of the moves that we learned in Irish dance. Now I'm going to teach you something else. These are called skip two threes. So let's start with our feet straight. Pointing straight towards camera. Heels together, toes out. Here's your turnout position. Connect your heel and your toe. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise onto our tippy toes, still in this nice Irish dance turnout and crossover position. First thing you're gonna do is give me a low cut with your front foot. So that's just a whip all the way up to your hip. So whip, and now step forward. One, two, three. So again, that was a low cut. Step forward, rock back, step forward. Let's try that again. Whip, step forward, rock back, step forward. Now with your back foot, this one back here, you're going to kick your bum. Kick your bum and now your back foot is going to become your front foot. Bring it over. One, two, three. Bring your back foot over. One, two, three, kick your bum, one, two, three, kick your bum, one, two, three, kick your bum, one, two, three. So to get into these hop two threes, we're doing a low cut, but we're just doing that low cut one more time. Low cut is how you begin your hop two threes. After that, all you're doing is picking up your back foot, kicking your bum, and bringing it over to keep this moving position. This is a good one to move across the floor with. This is a very great Irish dance move to know. If you know one move, this is a good one to know. Let's try this again. Feet straight. Heels together, toes out. One foot in front of the other. Point your toe. Let's start with the low cut. Cut, one, two, three. Kick your bum, one, two, three. Kick your bum, one, two, three. Kick your bum, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, now we're gonna add the hops. The hops is kind of taking it to the next level a little bit. So when we do our first cut, you're gonna give me a hop, cut, hop and cut. One, two, three. Now when you kick your bum, you're gonna give me a little hop. Hop, one, two, three, kick your bum and hop. One, two, three, kick your bum, hop. One, two, three. We're gonna try that with some, um, some slow music here. Slow it down real slow. So this is gonna be an Irish dance reel. We're going to count it in sevens and threes. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's try this with some slow music. is called sevens and threes. So this is where your high cut is going to come in handy. I'm going to scoot over here. We're going to start with a high cut. It's going to look like this. Hop, take your toe to your knee. Try that again. Hop, one more time, and hop. Good. So this time, we're going to hop, and this is going to be our count one. Now we're going to sidestep that way, keeping your front foot in front. So you're going to step behind, step behind, step behind. Let's try that again. Your front foot is going to stay in front the whole time. So this is one, cut one, step behind, step behind, step behind. Again, hop one, two, three, four. Five. Six, seven. Now we have to learn our threes. So we just learned our sevens. Now the next part of your dance is called threes. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the same front foot, wiggle it, around, wiggle it around for me, same front foot, and you're gonna lift it up into the air. Now you're gonna jump onto it. Jump, kick your bum, step forward with your back foot, rock back. Now lift up your new foot. Jump, kick your bum onto your front foot. Jump, step forward with your back foot, rock back. These are called jump two threes. When they're fast, they look like this. Jump two three, jump two three, jump two three, jump two three. Let's try them again a little bit slower. Raise up your foot in the air. First thing you do is always raise it up into the air. Jump onto it and kick your bum. Now step forward with your new foot, step forward, Rock back, raise your foot. Now do it one more time with the opposite foot. Jump, kick your bum, step forward, rock back. Let's try that with the sevens. Those jump two threes are the threes of your reel. The first cut, high cut two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's where your sevens come in. So let's try it all together. Point your front foot. I'm saying front foot instead of left and right because you can do whatever you want today whatever foot is dominant to you. High cut, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now lift up your front foot, jump, kick your bum, step forward, rock back, raise your foot. Jump, kick your bum, step forward, rock back, 
raise your foot. Let's try that one more time. That's halfway through our sevens and threes. Ready and go. High cut. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Raise your foot. Jump. Step forward. Rock back. Raise your foot. Jump. Step forward. Rock back. Raise your foot. Now everything we do on one foot in our stance, we have to do again on the other foot. So now we're gonna do the same thing on opposite foot, but instead of starting with a low cut or a high cut like we did at the beginning, we're gonna start with a jump. So jump, kick your bum, and now we're gonna do our sevens. Going in the direction of where your current back foot is. Jump, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Raise your foot, jump, step forward, rock back, raise your foot, jump, step forward, rock back. And that's our sevens and threes. Let's try them all together. All right, just to refresh your memory, we're going high cut, two, three, four, five, six, seven, jump over lift, jump over lift, and jump, two, three, four, five, six, seven, jump over lift, and jump over lift. That's our sevens and threes. Let's try them slowly, then we'll try them with some music. So let's start from our beginning position. Feet are straight. Now turn them out, heels together, toes out. Right foot in front, whatever foot you wish, and point your toe. Ready, we're gonna start with a high cut. High cut, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, jump with your front foot, jump, step forward, rock back, raise your foot, jump, step forward, rock back, halfway done. Now a jump, and we're gonna do our sevens opposite way. Jump, take your bum, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two more jump, two threes, and you're done. Jump, step forward, rock back, raise your foot, jump, step forward, rock back. All right, good job. Everyone get a drink if you want. I'm going to. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my shoes and socks you're seeing me wear. These are traditional Irish dance shoes. They're called ghillies. They look a lot like ballet slippers, except for they lace all the way up to hold your feet in tight. This is what we do our most intricate footwork in. It's called our light shoe dances. So that would be our reels and our jigs, is what we do these kind um, of dances in, in these shoes. Now the socks, they're kind of white. They look a little bubbly. We call these poodle socks. And this is what the girls wear for competition. Um, traditionally, the girls would wear black tights, but I think it started in the Great Depression that everyone started wearing these poodle socks, as they call them. It started when a wool worker was sitting down and spinning some wool, and he accidentally got some hair from his poodle in his um, machine. And it actually came out really awesome. And it was like this really dense and thick material that just worked really well for socks. So that's when Irish dancers started wearing them. That was around the Great Depression when cotton was too high a price to pay. The other thing we do in Irish dance, you'll notice that my arms are always in tight when I'm dancing. Tight to your side, just like this, the whole time. And that's because there was a time in Ireland under great British rule that all Irish forms of culture were outlawed. So when you were practicing your dancing, you had to make sure to do it in secret. So what the dancers would do is they would hide behind these big stone hedges and they would keep their arms right in tight. So if the British were walking by the other way, then they couldn't see their arms and they didn't think they were dancing. And that's the story about why the arms are in so tight. We've never really incorporated incorporated them into like traditional step dancing ever since. Um, but they are used in group dancing a little bit. Okay, I wanna do these sevens and threes and these skip two threes one more time before we move on to learning the Irish jig. So real quick, I'm gonna go down to the um, questions and if you have any questions, you can show me in the chat. All right, any questions, leave them in the chat and I'll come check them on a break. 
Let's try these sevens and threes one more time. Maybe with some slow music. This is a great tune um, I'm using right now from Katie Grennan. She is the fiddle player for Gaelic Storm and she's an Irish dance musician. So we see her all the time at Irish dance competitions and her solo music is fantastic as well as what she does with Gaelic Storm. I definitely recommend checking her out. All right, we're gonna do this slowly with some music. Feet straight, turn them out. pointing towards your other knee. Cut, two, your front foot is still in front. Three, four, five, six, seven. Your same front foot is still in front. Now you're gonna jump two, three and change front foot. So lift up your foot, jump kick your bum, step forward, rock back, raise your foot. Jump kick your bum, step forward, Rock back, raise your foot. Now we're going to do a jump without the threes. This is a jump sevens. So jump, and we're gonna go the other way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Raise your foot, jump, step forward, rock back, raise your foot, jump, step forward, rock back. These are called your sevens and threes. And if you forget this, um, you can go onto YouTube and write in Irish dance sevens and threes, and I think there are many, many videos that can kind of refresh your memory. Before we move on to jigs, I want to try to do those skip two threes again that we got um, at the very beginning of this lesson. So feet are straight, turn them out, heels together, toes out, one foot in front of the other, point your toe. So this one we're going to start with a low cut. Low cut is whipping up all the way to your hip instead of up to your knee. So whip, skip one, two, three. Now your back foot's gonna come forward. Skip over, one, two, three. Skip over, one, two, three. Skip over, one, two, three. Let's try that with some slow music. Starting with your low cut, and then kicking your bum all the way after. I'm gonna scoot back a little so I have somewhere to dance. You guys can too. So my feet are straight, heels together, toes out. I'm gonna put my right foot in front. Ready, five, six, seven. Ready and go. Skip, one, two, three. One, two, three, kick your bum. Kick your bum. Up, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Go. One more time. A little faster. Five, six, seven. Ready and go. Skip. One, two, three. 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 Amazing. That was our real Irish dance reel counted in sevens and threes. We did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, jump two, three, jump two, three, jump two, three, four, five, six, seven, jump two, three, jump two, three. Jump two, three. All right. So now we're going to switch gears and go into some light jigs. So everyone get a drink, take a tiny little break.
and we're going to switch gears into the light jig. This is the most famous Irish dance of all, the Irish jig. All right, I'm going to write out these sevens and threes if anybody wants them. All right, I wrote out your sevens and threes in the chats here. So if you want to take a screenshot of that, I think that'll be helpful if you're kind of trying to review this later. Also, um, YouTube, Irish Dance Real, sevens and threes will also kind of get you another explanation of this. All right, I'm going to get a drink real quick, and we're going to start in with our Irish jig. So our reels were counted in sevens and threes, just like we danced it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, one, two, three. So now the jigs are going to be counted in, um, well, I'm just gonna let you listen to it first. Then I'll tell you how. It's probably very familiar to a lot of you. These are counted in twos and fours. So if you can hear, it's gonna be like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Let's listen real quick. Try to identify your twos and fours. One more time. This is going to be the most helpful Irish dance to know when you're just hanging out and listening to bands. You're going to be able to bust this out so quickly and impress everybody. So this is the light jig. It's a very famous Irish dance. So we're gonna start, toes forward, heels together, toes out. And then I'm gonna cross my right foot in front of my left and point my toe. So the first thing I'm gonna do is hop and point my toe. So hop, point to the ground. And what my front foot is doing, it's not bending, it's just lifting and tapping. Lifting and tapping. Lift and tap, lift and tap. So let's try that with the hop now. Lift and tap, lift and tap, lift and tap, lift and tap. So to do this light jig, the first thing you're going to do is lift Point to the floor, lift, point to your knee. This is the high cut that we learned at the beginning. Now take this front that's all the way up here in a high cut and go back. Go back. One, two, three, four. So all together, you lifted, pointed to the floor, lifted, pointed to your knee. Now lifted. One, two, three, four. Now do it again. So the foot we started with is now in the back. So what you're gonna have to do is kick your bum and then bring it forward, point to the floor. Hop to the floor, hop to your knee, hop, one, two, three, four. Hop to the floor, hop to your knee, hop back, two, three, four. Hop to the floor, 
hop to your knee, hop back, two, three, four. And now we're gonna pause because there's a surprise ending to this. So for your jig, you're gonna do floor, knee, back, two, three, four, three times. And then there's a surprise ending I'll show you in just a second. Let's try it a couple times with our right foot in front. Ready, hop point to the floor, hop point to your knee, hop bring it back, one, two, three, four. Now kick your bum so your right foot is in front, once again. Point to the floor, to your knee, hop back, two, three, four. One more time, kick your bum, point to the floor. Point to the floor, point to your knee, hop back, two, three, four. Now your back foot, back here, is gonna come up into a surprise high cut. Hop to your knee. This is your right foot still. Hop back. Now your new front foot, your left foot, is gonna scoop back. One, two, three, four. So you're kind of doing backward skips a little bit like that. So from that part, your right foot is in back. You're gonna scoop all the way up into a high cut. Hop back. Now with your left foot, hop. One, two, three, four. Let's review that all the way through. So you have floor, knee, back, two, three, four. Floor, knee, back, two, three, four. Over floor, knee, back, two, three, four. Up to your knee, hop back, back, two, three, four. Let's try that slow. Feet are straight. Turn them out. Cross your right foot over your left foot. My heel is connected to my toe. Not nice that your stance turn out. Now hop and point to the floor with your right foot. Hop point to your knee. Hop, bring it back. One, two, three, four. Kick your bum to the floor. To your knee. Hop back, two, three, four. One more time. Kick your bum to the floor. To your knee, hop back, two, three, four. Now swing up that back foot all the way up to your knee with a high cut. Hop, knee, hop, back, hop, back, two, three, four. So you land with your right foot in front. Now, in Irish dance, what we do with the right foot, we have to do with the left foot. So now we have to pick up our left foot from behind and do the same thing over. Over, floor, knee, Back, two, three, four, over, floor, knee, back, two, three, four, over, floor, knee, back, two, three, four. Now swing up to your knee with a big high cut. Hop, knee, still on my left foot. Hop, back, hop, back, two, three, four. Let's try that again with just the left foot. So my left foot's in front, left heel connected to my right toe. I'm gonna point it out in front of me. Ready, hop floor with your left foot in front. Hop knee, hop back, two, three, four. Over floor, knee, back, two, three, four. Over floor, knee, back, two, three, four. Now scoop up to your knee. Up to your knee, hop, back, hop, back, two, three, four. Let's try this with the right foot and the left foot. So after the right foot ends, pick up your back foot, take your bum and start over on the left foot. All right, right foot in front. We're gonna do it really slow. Ready, hop, four, hop, knee, Hop back, two, three, four, over, floor, knee. Hop back, two, three, four, over, floor, knee. Back, two, three, four, swing up to your knee. Hop back, scoop back, two, three, four, kick the bum, floor, knee. Back, two, three, four, floor, knee. Back, two, three, four, floor, knee, back, two, three, four, now swing up to your knee, hop, back, hop, back, two, three, four. 
again, this is called Irish Dance Light Jig. I'm gonna write this one out for you too so you guys don't forget. This is the most famous Irish dance of all probably. The step we learned is actually a very traditional step. It's called the rise and grind, and it's one of those steps that has been handed down throughout history from Ireland for centuries. So this is the same one that my grandma learned, same one that my mom learned, same one that I learned, and it'll be the same one that everybody else learns. I'm gonna write down light jig, the rise and grind step. And with my little parentheses, I'm gonna kind of tell you what foot to be on. Gonna be hop floor, hop knee, hop back, two, three, four. Over with your right foot, floor, knee, back, two, three, four. One more time, over, with the right foot still, floor, knee, back, two, three, four. Now scoop up to your knee with your right foot that is in the back. Hop back with that same foot. Hop back, two, three, four with the left foot. So your left foot's gonna end up behind. you're gonna have to kick your bum with your left foot to bring it over and then repeat the entire step with your left foot in front. All right, sorry for all of these spam comments, but hopefully you can take a screenshot of that. And if you are still on YouTube, and you look up Irish dance, rise and grind step, then you will be good to go with this whole dance and you'll never forget it. All right, thank you for coming to the Irish dance workshop. Really appreciate it. Kansas City Irish Fest appreciates it. Appreciates you tuning in for this year. Um, happy dancing. I'll see you soon. Bye.